and we back with another one. So let's get into it. Um, you know what they said after Young Dolph got killed, the PRE was sliding back, forth, left, right, up, down, <laughs> every which way you look. You know what I'm saying? For a consistent three years. You feel me? Now, was they sliding or not? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't here to put that on them. But we gonna watch the video. And we finna check it out. Let's go. Say Young Dolph was inside Makita's around 12.30 in the afternoon Wednesday when he was gunned down. As the anniversary of Young Dolph's approaches, the wheels of justice are beginning to turn. Johnson is also requesting a move from 201 Poplar to the penal form in East Memphis due to safety concerns. Vitellis Taylor, also known as CEO TZ, was found shot to death in Orange Mound Wednesday at Spotswood and Bunton. Those close to the case tell us Taylor is part of a group, the same group linked to the suspects charged in connection with Dolph's. As District Attorney Steve Mulroy says go... Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss none of this hot content. Van asked for young Dolph to be Mr. Govan has been indicted and is in custody for being involved in the young Dolph. Um, he played the role of the person who solicited the murder. I don't play no bitch beside two real niggas. Two real niggas with a in the middle, man. Hey. Rest in peace to Big Jook, but <laughs> Big Jook was doing it. He, he hate, it seemed like he hated Dolph more than God he hated Dolph. You know what I'm saying? When you look up how much stuff Jook was doing, this video right here, all the videos he made after Dolph died, you know what I'm saying? It's a crazy situation. But let's keep watching. Uh Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Now, Big Jook is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. They've literally been Memphis for three straight years since Young Dolph died. Ayo, hey, yo, squad. Yo, kick your 2024 off right. www.marcyville.com for all your graphic design needs. The link will be in the description. Whether you need flyers, uh mixtape covers invitation uh snapchat filters youtube banners anything you need graphic design you even get a logo starting your business you ain't got no logo well now you know where to go www.marcyville.com all right y'all make sure to let them know that buddha sent you all right i'm out what's the drill back with another video man well, it seems like them boys ain't playing about Dolph because ever since he got murked by his ops, bodies been dropping. His alleged assailants have not only the law to worry about, but Dolph's people viciously spinning the block looking for him. Now, one of the headest of honchos has been targeted and caught lacking, and where it is, he's another kid. casualty of get back for Dolph because he was the one who put the bread on Dolph's head allegedly and guess who he happens to be Dolph's biggest ops brother Big Jup just how many bodies dropped who was involved in Dolph's hit we're gonna find out so without further ado let's skip the play play and get down to business every street rapper claims that if them or their mans get caught lacking it's gonna be bodies dropping on the op side in retaliation but all them boys gone and not one of their men slide on their ops. I guess dudes thought that was the same for all rappers, but nope. When the ops took Memphis legend Young Dolph life, man, they learned the hard way that some of these dudes are really loved and respected and their mans will slide on every block until all involved face justice. <laughs> Police say young Dolph was inside Makita's around 12.30 in the afternoon Wednesday when he was gunned down. Street justice, that is. Dolph's people was on go time, and the cops knew it. They began advising everybody to stay at home and not come outside if you don't have to. That's how much they knew the bloodshed was about to pour for Dolph. Tonight, we strongly encourage... Hey, and they ain't gonna lie. That was crazy to be telling people, you know what I'm saying? Stay in the house, don't come outside, because if you 
don't, some might happen to you if you come outside since young Dolph done got killed. So, yeah, they did know that it, it, it went up right after that. If you know, you know. Encourage everyone to stay home if you do not have to be out. The Memphis police chief is asking everyone to stay home tonight after rapper Young Dolph is gunned down and at a South Memphis cookie shop. There will be extra police presence in many parts of the city. Police even beefed up presence in front of Yo Gotti's business, expecting bullets to rain down. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says there is a team of people right now trying to keep the peace and stop any more from happening. Yeah, they're trying. Their efforts seem to have worked last night. But extra police presence wasn't stopping anything from going down. As much as they tried, it just didn't work. Dolph was taken out on November 17, 2021. By December 2021, a study showed that Memphis became one of the most unsafe cities in the country with a rise in homicides. A new study finds Memphis is the most dangerous city in the country. This report comes as the Bluff City is on pace to surpass a record Bro, and they still the most. <laughs> they still like one of the most dangerous cities, bro. You get people getting killed after funerals. When the funeral happens, you gotta have snipers on the roof, helicopters, jets. Remember, I showed y'all your Gotti had tanks, roads blocked off. So they still one of the most dangerous cities number of homicide. The first target was an example for what's to come for anybody involved in Dolph's hit or involved with the people in Dolph's hit. Comedian Darion D. Money Childs joked about Dolph's passing on an online post. A week later, they already spun the block on him. That poll on... Worst decision he ever made in his comedic career. Got that. that was the worst decision you could have ever made was to make a joke about Dolph. And they ain't slide for him or nothing. They ain't go get no get back for him or nothing. They like, hey, man, he shouldn't have did it. <laughs> I said, if you go online, you see all, even his homies, even his people, like, hey, 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 he, he shouldn't have made that joke about Dolph. Crazy, man. Rest in peace to him. You got to watch your mouth sometime. One ways couldn't stop the streak of revenge that started. January 2022, a rapper who was signed to Moneybag Yo and who was the cousin of Big 30 by the name of Big Newski was wet up. A court in the Memphis Police Department, the shooting happened at the New Horizon River Apartments located at 3723 Kazasa Road around 7 p.m. When the bullets stopped, the 26-year-old man was murked from the shooting. The New Horizon River Apartments in the 3000 block of Kazasa. Now, what we're being told is that police were dispatched here about an hour ago after getting a call about gunshots being fired in the area. Now, now what I heard about Nooski. They was talking about he was letting Straight Drop use his car or him and Straight Drop was sharing the car to Corvette. That's the only thing I ever heard about him pertaining to the Dolph situation. And that was it. So I guess because him and Straight Drop was cool or whatever like that. But then I also heard they were saying where he got killed that was his hood. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. But as far as that being Darth related, like after Newski got killed, I never heard him mention with like Dolph name again or him having anything to do with Dolph. I don't know. And then Key Glock had said rest in peace to him. And then I was like, y'all saying he got killed because of Dolph, but Key, why would Key Glock say rest in peace to him? I don't know. And then a lot of people said, Key Glock was dissing him. But from what I heard, him and Key Glock was supposed to be cool with each other. So, I don't know. Let's keep watching. Now, what we do know right now is that police are reporting that one male victim was shot here on this scene. Big Newski was said to be connected to Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, who was currently one of the dudes charged for Dolph's homicide. Two photos online brought their connection to the suspicion 
When it seemed they both posted pictures standing in front of the same whip. Straight drop on her and Big Noosey's passing posted a pic of him online saying, lost my brother, fighting to keep my head up. They were feeling the pain now, but Dolph people wasn't done yet. According to sources, straight drop and the dudes charged with Dolph hit don't only have ties to CMG and Yo Gotti allegedly, but they also affiliates of the Memphis gang True La Mafia. And the OG of the gang is said to be a dude named Joshua Taylor, AKA CEO TZ. What's crazy is that TZ was also on the cops' radar for the Dolph hit. Well, he wouldn't be a living target in time to come. On June 14, 2023, reports state that officers responded to a man down call at Spotswood Avenue near Bunton Street at 12.56 p.m. They found Taylor suffering from gunshot wounds. He was deceased at the scene. Reports continue, though, saying that people who live nearby believe he was actually shot the night before and was just discovered lifeless in a car near a church around 1 p.m. Vitellis Taylor, also known as CEO T's. All right. Now, I ain't going to lie, and I'm going to keep it real. Besides them early bodies, when you get the teasing, a lot of these bodies started falling when Govan got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> when he when he got out of jail, Teezy went, Juke went. But that's neither here nor there. Now, I said this was crazy. This big old shootout happened. Everybody hit the shoot, shootout. Everybody hit the shooting, everything, the cars was there. You could, if you looked on Twitter, you seen it on the Memphis Scout and everything, right? So it was this whole big shootout. Now, they said the police came, police went over there and everything. How Teezy didn't get found till 1 o'clock in the afternoon the next day? Explain that. See, yes, this go, man, been out, all this stuff been happening, can't nobody explain. I wonder why the judge don't want to let him talk in interviews and he don't want him to say nothing. And yeah, yeah, I see what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's a lie, I see. Teezy was found shot to death in Orange Mound Wednesday at Spotswood and Bunton. Those who live nearby tell us Taylor was actually shot the night before, discovered lifeless in a car hours later. News reports would claim Teezy to be a high-profile gang member and once more publicly linked Teezy to the group that murdered. So now, listen, listen to how crazy this is and how crazy it sounds. The whole hood know that you got shot. Everybody out there know that you got shot last night. So if everybody out there know that you got shot last night, they had to find you where you were shot at. <laughs> everybody know you got shot last night. What the fuck? So what I'm saying is, who just left him there? Now, it was one story they came up with. They said his friend found his friend rushed to the car, seen him all in the car, pulled him out the car, he was, he, he was shot the night before. But if you telling me you can see a whole SUV crashed up and smoking in that, come on, man. It, some, <laughs> it ain't adding up, man. That's all I'm saying. It ain't adding up. Merck Dolph, YouTube journalist King AK also spoke on the alleged hit that went out on Dolph and said Straight Drop would have to have got the go-ahead from TZ. And by taking him out, Dolph's people was taking out the head honcho. TZ ain't just no gang member. Hey, man. <laughs> King AK all over the place, man. Why you why you go off on Dirk and them like that, man? <laughs> y'all, y'all go follow King AK, man. Subscribe to his channel, man. Y'all already know. That's the homie, man. King AK, voice of the streets, man. Teezy was the head digger of True La Mafia. Do y'all understand what that means? That means if anybody that's in True La got anything to do with Young Dolph Death, Justin Johnson. Teasy at the end of the day gives the okay. The spinning didn't stop there. And with this next alleged body in the long line of revenge for Dolph, it shocked many. Because if true, it showed that not only males were in on the hit list to be spun on. Memphis rapper Destiny Golden, a.k.a. Lotta Cash Desto, was in the 5500 block of Richmond Avenue at around 2.40 a.m. with a female friend on September 24, 2022. That's when police say that they stopped behind a dark four-door vehicle at a traffic light. Two male bangers popped out the door. Now, remember, when Govan did his interview with Stan G, old man, Rogaine, propane, 
cocaine, gasoline. Remember, Govan said that a lot of cash, Desto, death had nothing to do with Dolph. What it had something to do with was uh, some dudes Julio Fulio was beefing with. And I guess they had did a song because she was on a song where Julio Fulio was dissing the dudes that he had beef with. And Govan, now his own mouth again, like he said, that was his daughter at first. And y'all didn't believe that. Even when he said, that's my daughter, y'all ain't believe that. So now out his own mouth, he said her death ain't had nothing to do with the dog situation. But it's, he basically blamed Julio Fulio. Let's go. Dark whip and walk down on Desto and the female passenger, Merkin Desto, and injuring the girl she was with. Now, this is what made many connect her homicide to get back for Dolph. In a strange turn of events, another person arrested for orchestrating young Dolph's hit was Desto's father, Hernandez Govan. Court records show 43 year old Hernandez Govan, who was just indicted in the rap star, <laughs> along with Johnson and Cornelia Smith, Put your once hand lived. Down just a few houses down. Neighbors fearing for their lives told us off camera he grew up on the street. A possible connection linking the suspects as District Attorney Steve Mulroy says Govan asked for young Dolph to be murdered. Mr. Govan has been indicted and is in custody for being involved in the young Dolph. Um, he played the role of the person who solicited what he himself then posted online hinted even more that she was taken out because of his actions that got Dolph murked. It's crazy how the pieces are connecting with everybody dropped. Dolph's people wasn't letting up and the next target will prove just that. According to the Memphis Police Department on August 18, 2023, police said that gunfire rang out around 9.30 a.m. at a BP gas station on the 500 block of South Parkway East. Officers responded and located a male to Manuel Benson who... Now... Remember, the dude that allegedly killed Black Youngster Brother, he's in jail right now, and he had a warrant for that, but he still ain't been convicted of it. I don't know how the Memphis police is and they court system and all that. If he beat it, he beat it. I don't know. But... He ain't been found guilty or nothing like that, but they did just lock him up the other day. Who was Black Youngster's brother with a fatal gunshot wound. The dude wasn't even masked up or nothing because police had a clear image to release to the public with a 5K reward for info about his whereabouts. He just made sure to get his task done. No concern about no face, no case or nothing. Another one bite the dust, and of course, all fingers pointed to PRE, Dolph Boys, having something to do with it, since it was Black Youngster who was initially arrested for one of the attempts on Dolph's life in 2017 when over 100 shots were sprayed at Dolph's black SUV. Black Youngster and Dolph been into it after Youngster inherited the beef from Yo Gotti, and Black Youngster was out here strapped up looking for smoke with the Goonies. Now he was left with pain and anger with the loss of his brother to the cycle of spinning being allegedly carried out by Dolph Mans and them. And all of this, the main op Yo Gotti, who was the face of the CMG beef with Dolph, was seemingly untouched from the spinning. But from the bodies dropping, it's no surprise that Dolph's peoples will find a way to make him hurt. And they nearly double-timed his family and called moms, too. Luckily, she ran for her life. However, his brother, known as Big Jook, wasn't so lucky. Ironically, Big Jook was at the funeral of a loved one when he himself was packed up the same day. Remember PRE artist Grove Hero? Had got online when Dolph was murked and said that it was Big Jook who put the 40K bag on Dolph's head and it was smoke whenever he saw him. Kill if a nigga told you, hey man, look, bro, my Jook put a 40,000 on hit on you, bro. Like, you, you, nigga, man, come on, bro, I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro, I'm not no shake ass nigga, bro. I ain't no nigga finna tell me a nigga put 40,000 dollars on my head and I'm finna do this. Bro, anybody that associate with you, and this ain't got nothing to do with them other folks, bro. It's it's certain folks that got something to do with this. It's Jook, and God it really ain't got nothing to do with this shit. But but Jook is his, his brother. It's Jook, it's Jook, it's Migo, it's Youngster. These the folks that got something to do with this shit, dog. And remember, the other day, Grove Hero just said, Big Jug got killed. He was happy about it. <laughs> it's wild, man. It's wild. 
So, you know, they probably was fully invested in catching Jug lacking. On January 13th, Anthony Mims, a.k.a. Big Jug, and Yo Gotti attended a farewell service for their relative OG, Eric Bolden. In a video clip shared by YouTube journalist Seti Nash, both can be seen going up to the casket. According to him, who claims to have factual information, there were two dudes in the back of the church scoping out Big Jug, and they waited for the perfect moment to catch Jug lacking. That moment will come at the repast after the farewell service outside of Perion's restaurant and event center on the 6300 block of Winchester Road. Gotti luckily didn't go to the repast because he might have suffered the same fate. Big Juk would enter his vehicle and allegedly Yo Gotti Moms was also in the whip. But that wasn't stopping anything and the shooters started busting, wetting up Big Juk and another homie that was in the car. Allegedly, his mom's by a stroke of luck or God shielding her was able to dip out the whip and run for her life, escaping the fatal shooting. Big Juk would be rushed to the hospital where unfortunately he succumbed to his injuries. Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Juk. Now, Big Juk is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Onlookers and surveillance footage captured a white SUV with no license plate speeding away. That's the ghost of Young Dolph Mobile right there, baby. Y'all, y'all already know what that truck is. The ghost of Young Dolph. Got w, y'all, y'all know who's riding in that truck. Young Dolph. Got that. They still ain't caught whoever was in that truck. But we already know who went there. Young Dolph ghost. Got that. They ain't never found that. Wait the scene and police are on the hunt for the vehicle. Tonight, police are looking for a white Ford Explorer SUV in connection with the shooting. It has dark tinted windows and black wheels. A witness told police they saw some suspects in the SUV speeding away. Everything came full circle, leading up to Big Juk. Looking back after Dolph's hit, Juk was one of them always poking fun at Dolph. In one clip, he was mocking Dolph passing and his artists about coming to CMG for bread. And in another video, he disrespected Dolph while filming a mural with Dolph. Two real niggas with a in the middle, man. More info was surfaced and it will become even more convincing these bodies wasn't just random, but all connected to Dolph's hit. Video footage hit the net showing Big Juk with a stack chilling with CEO TZ, then also at his personal birthday party. So the two was tight. <laughs> but that's not all. Big Juk is also seen in photos with none other than the man authorities claim to have orchestrated the dog hit, Hernandez Govin. No one is too high to get touched because for some people, like those who loved and respected Dolph, they'd by any means necessary. And let's be real. How many times Govan ain't gonna get the break <laughs> his bond restrictions before they put him back in jail? Like it's like, bro, it's like he just do whatever he wanna do. Kill Dolph, get a bond. Break the restrictions, still get to be out on bond. Still get to be out on house arrest or whatever. Go on vacation. Go to Vegas. Go here. Go there. Do this. Do that. Do whatever he want. Man with the court with a throwback jersey on. Man, it's crazy, man. It is crazy. Slide on anybody involved in murking that man's. And these bodies are allegedly just the tip of the iceberg. Apparently, the streets are saying countless bodies already dropped over Dolph behind the scenes. The, the young Dolph has traumatized so many people and that whole ecosystem and structure in Memphis. There's been that seemingly are revenge. Immediately afterwards, remember they said like four niggas got in the next 24 48 hours but even like how long Dolph been dead i think Dolph got was it 2020 or maybe 2021 damn it young Dolph might have been the most loved nigga i've ever seen in the history of hip-hop i don't think there was more sliding about Pac, more sliding about nipsey hustle nigga this type of sliding here nigga is a different nigga these niggas Got a slip and slide going on in Memphis. I don't know <laughs> a what slip the, and slide going on in Memphis. I didn't know that Dolph was loved like this. They've literally been Memphis for three straight years since Young Dolph died. I've never seen some shit like this. I wonder if those involved still think it was worth taking his life. All celebrations of somebody's hits in the streets always turn to mourning at some point. All right, Peter Young Dolph and all. Well. All right, Peter Young Dolph, man. Hey, I'll get in the comment section, man. We know what y'all think, man. Boy, Buddha, I'm out.